Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. If you have questions, please put them in the comments below me in all capital letters so they stand out and I'll do my best to answer them for you. If I can't, I'm sure there's a cheap scatter out there somewhere that can. Now, before we get started, if you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. Okay, let's get started. The last week or so, I've been seeing lots of videos and hearing lots of talk, reading lots of blog posts about taking cash out of the bank, uh, out of the bank and buying silver and gold because our currency is going to be worth nothing. I suppose it sounds good in theory, but I've been thinking about it and I don't think silver and or gold or any other precious metal is going to be worth diddly squat. You can't eat it. You can't grow it. You can't wear it. It won't keep you warm and dry. It won't feed your stock or your children. I don't think converting all your hard-earned savings the silver or gold is a good thing. My pantry is my investment and the ROI on that is better than anything I'd ever get on the stock exchange and it always has been. You know, there's, you know, it's not called fool's gold for nothing. I can't imagine anything worse than being in a complete societal and economic collapse and just having a pocket full of gold when what I really need is corn or flour or eggs or seeds or shoes or feed for stock. Because frankly, those people who have been smart enough to plan and prepare ahead who have full pantries, well, they won't want silver or gold because they will know it's worthless. They'll be wanting something of value, something they don't have that they can use, something they don't have that they may need. It could be canning jars. It could be fabric to make clothes for those growing children or lard or fat to make candles. It could be leather to make shoes, whatever. The last thing they're going to be worrying about is gold or silver. Probably even cash. Because it really, I think it really will be worthless in that situation. Now, I don't for one minute think it's going to be worth anything near what it is today if you were to go and convert your savings to gold or silver today simply because it will be useless and if it's useless it has no value there will be you know no mints around to melt it down and make more um the banks won't be working they'll be shut up tighter than a drum the factories that manufacture um everything that we eat and drink and wear even that we sit on won't be working They'll all be shut down because this is a complete collapse, a complete economic and societal collapse. There may not even be any telecommunications. There may not be a, a power grid to give us electricity. See, and I mentioned fat or lard for candles. For so long, for so, so long, I've been saying the best investment you can make is in your pantry. And I get held down. I still do. Well, I'm sticking to that statement. I'm standing by what I say. The return on investment in your pantry is guaranteed to always be more than what you paid for. 
or paid for it. So my message is don't stop stocking your pantry. Pay down your debt as fast and as hard as you can so that you don't have any. And once you have your pantry to the point where you are comfortable, that you know it's going to keep you for however long you decide, then build it some more. And add things that can be used for currency that you can trade or barter with. Things like tools, seeds, jars, fabric, yarn, sewing supplies, needles and threads, zippers, buttons, first aid supplies, candles, batteries. Because while we may not have electricity, battery operated things could still work. Tea, coffee, sugar, they will be gold in a grid down situation. Books, hard copy books, games, toys. All the things that you need and use that others who haven't been smart enough to heed the warnings, who haven't listened to me, who haven't prepared, will need and use, but won't have. They might have silver, they might have gold, they might have cash. Not that it will be any use to them. And even if they can use it to buy things, it's going to be worth diddly squat. So that... Um, verse in the bible where you work a day for a loaf of bread that's the sort of situation where you work a day for a loaf of bread so what they have is going to be costing them so much more for each transaction because they haven't prepared do i think you should have all your money in the bank look i'm not here to give you financial advice that's up to you i do think that cash is still king and I think cash will still be king as long as we have some sort of working financial system. I also think that if the world ever switches to a complete digital currency, then cash will really come into its own. Now, it will be black market, but it will be worth a lot more because it, unlike this digital currency that's hard to say, is truly untraceable. It's really hard to track cash. Now, I'm not telling anyone to not buy silver or gold or to take all their money out of the bank or to leave it all there. Those are decisions that you need to make after you have done your research, after you understand how those decisions will impact you and your family, after you have looked long at hard at your preparing and your plans for the future. What I am telling you to do is something, anything, anything at all to make sure your financial future is as, as secure as you can get it. Because no matter what happens, no one else is going to do that for you. There will be no one to do it for you. It will be up to you. So don't stop preparing. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> if you like our channel, please give us a thumbs up. If you know someone who might like this show or who might benefit from knowing about the Cheapskates Club, there's a share button underneath me there. Just click on it and it will send them a link. Have a great day, everyone. And I hope I see you all in the Cheapskates Club forum talking cheapskating very, very soon. Bye.